Hey guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review for The Empire of Gold by S.H. Chakraborty. Yes, I finally finished the David Bond trilogy, which was good. I mean, this, this year I did it pretty fast. It was good. Good for me. This is the third and final book in the David Bond trilogy. I will not have spoilers for this book in this review, but I might for the first two, so go and check out my reviews for those if you are interested and haven't read them yet. So this picks up directly after the events of the second book. There is no time jump in this book like there was in the second book. We follow exactly what's happening right after the events of the last book. So we're still following Dara, Ali, and Nahri, and like everything. So we have Ali and Nahri in Egypt um, because of how they got pulled through the lake, and then we have Dara still back with the conquered Devabad, and everything goes from there. So first off, we talk about the world building. This series does continued world building so well. I feel like so many fantasy series, a lot of times, like the first book or the first couple of books might have a lot of world building, and it just kind of stops because you just sort of know everything. The continued expansion of the world within this series is really cool. We still get continued information about the different tribes of people, particularly about the different magical creatures. So in here we learn even more about like the Marid and the Peris. Amazing. I love to see it. It just feels so fulfilling when we continue to learn about a world instead of feeling like we know everything. And I still feel like I don't know everything. I still feel like there's more that could be done in this world. I know she's come out with a short story collection in this world as well, but I just feel like this is the world she could return to. She doesn't leave that open as if that's gonna happen, but I feel like it, like she could just because there's so much there. Next, I'm gonna talk about our characters. I continue to love the characters in this series so much. All of them, even the people that I don't like, I enjoy because they are so fully fleshed out and just real feeling characters that feel like they exist even outside of this story. I don't know how she did it, but even in book three, I still cannot quite like pick sides. Like I'm on the sides of our main characters, uh, particularly like Nari, like always, but like the, it's, it continues to just be like, no one is truly correct. Everyone does bad stuff. Uh, even the villains, it's very much like, wow, like you could be awful and I still understand why you're doing sort of what you're doing and why you think what you're doing is right. And that is such a hard line to walk. So the villains in this series continue to be amazing because they feel so real. Also just like the different character dynamics and everything I found really satisfying. I find the character arcs really satisfying. I find that the way that the characters relate to each other and resolve or don't resolve some of that stuff, so good. So good. And what's nice about this too is like after the big action and stuff finally ends, there is like a lot of time for sort of resolution of things, but not too much to where you feel like it's dragging. And it's always nice to have a series wrap up in a very satisfying way. Lastly, we talk about the plot. I kind of just mentioned as far as like the wrap up, everything in here as far as the, the plot and the ending and everything felt so realistic, so earned. There was enough sacrifice without it feeling like it was just for angst purposes. I didn't feel like anything came out of left field. There were enough twists that it was interesting, but not to where you feel like you're just waiting for twists. Like, it's so well crafted, so well done. So while not all the resolutions are necessarily like quote unquote happy, all of them were satisfying. And that is all that I ask, especially in an adult fantasy series like this. Obviously there's a ton of stuff I can't talk about that I'm gonna be talking about more in my spoilery gush for this. So I'll link that on the screen for you to check out. I obviously gave this five out of five stars. I loved this entire series. This was a five star series for me. Impeccable in every way, perfect. I really wouldn't change anything. And I can't say that about most series. So definitely enjoyed this. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of The Empire of Gold. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.